What is up ladies and gentlemen, Real Touch GML here and today what I'm going to be doing is I am going to be showing you guys how to make a pause menu in Game Maker. Now I am surprised I haven't made a tutorial on this already because this is pretty basic and you'll see here that it is pretty basic. But what we're going to be doing or let me just show you what I have so far is just a box moving around now. Obviously this would be your game. Uh, if if your game is just a box moving around, then I'm, I'm sorry to hear that, but that's what we're going to be pausing today. So what I did is I went ahead and just created a sprite for the player. I went ahead and created a background. Uh, this is just the pause menu. Press enter key to continue. Now, you can put buttons in here in the actual game. I just got a little lazy and said enter key. Obviously, buttons you could do, and it's pretty easy. If, if you have any questions on that, you can leave it down in the comment section. But I've also made two rooms. So I made the actual room where you play the game and then the room where it's paused. And I'm going to go ahead and create a new object. And I'm going to call it controller. No sprite. And in the create event, I'm going to set a variable. Paused equals false. And this is going to be a Boolean value, so it can be a true or false statement. And when we go into our step event here, I'm going to check if keyboard check pressed VK enter we're gonna check if paused <clears throat> equals true so if we're on the pause menu already paused equals false and I'm not sure if we can do a return statement here no we can't we'll just say paused equals false and we will say you know no 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 we'll say else if not paused paused equals true right so what this is basically saying if we're if pause is already true then we're going to make it false if it is false we're going to make it true so it's just flip flopping the it around using one key okay and in the step event what we're going to say is if <clears throat> i don't know uh, no, no, we can say it right here. Room go to, and then this will be room zero. And then copy that, paste it down, and room one. So room zero is the actual game, and room one is the pause menu. Okay, so we're also going to make this persistent and put that in the room there. So now if we played it, as you can see, I'm moving around, I'm moving around. Press enter, it now brings us to the pause menu here. Press enter again, and we are back. <clears throat> so, you will notice actually though, if we say we bring our player all the way down here, we pause it and we bring it back, our guy resets. Everything in our room resets, and we do not want that. Okay, that is not what a pause menu should do. So in our room zero here, all we're gonna do is we're gonna go to settings, and we're gonna make the room persistent. This means if the room is changed at any point, it's going to stay exactly how it was. Same with our controller here. If we make this persistent, that means that this old controller will never leave. It will never, you know, leave the room. So if we make it the the S box just sort of sprite, just so we can see it. <clears throat> As you can see, it's up there. If we press enter, it's still there. Press enter again, it's still there. And now if we bring our box all the way down there, press enter and we bring it back you can see our box is still there which is which is what we want so go ahead and like go and subscribe um, any tutorials that you want next go on my channel and go ahead and go in the comment section and you you know you can just suggest all the tutorials there or in the comment section that's fine but leave a like go and subscribe and I will see you guys next time peace <laughs>